Hi everyone and welcome to another math video from cxcdirect.org. Today our topic is bearings and we begin by describing what the bearing is. The bearing essentially describes the direction you will take if you are at point A and you want to get to point B. So it's a universal way of describing how you would define that particular direction. Um, it is described using three digits and it is measured from north in a clockwise direction. For example, if you were at point A and your bearing to point B was 30 degrees, then you'd first identify where you are by identifying that on say a graph or a chart and you would set up what I'd like to call a bearing locator which is simply a little diagram showing the cardinal points north, south, east and west. You'd superimpose that at A and then you would determine in this case your 30 degrees measured from north in a clockwise direction and you would get your bearing from A to B. Similarly if you were going from B to C and your bearing was 140 degrees you would in the same way decide where you were which you are now at B you would uh, superimpose a bearing locator and from north in a clockwise direction you measure 140 degrees and that is how you would get from B to C B. I can continue like this with this very first example here it says ship travels from port A to port B 60 kilometers away on a bearing of 35 degrees. Here I'm asked to draw a diagram showing this information. So very simply in the first task I indicate my starting position and as always at my starting position I have to draw my bearing locator so I will know the bearing on which I should be traveling or the course I should be taking and in this case it's 35 degrees and there it is shown there on the diagram. If for example in task 2 you are asked to determine the bearing for the return journey then all you need to do is recognize that you are not B so you attach a bearing locator at B and then you identify the bearing or the course all the way from the north in a clockwise direction as shown and you determine that angle and that would be your bearing B to A. Now that angle is actually made up of two parts 180 degrees from north to south and an unknown Y which we will find in a minute. To do this we can simply put a bearing locator at A and recognize instantly that a Z angle exists between the north at point A and the south at point B and from our theory of Z angles where alternate angles are equal we can see that Y then must be 35 degrees and the total angle is 180 plus 35 degrees or 215 degree, degrees that is my bearing. Let us continue with a slightly more complex problem and one that you, you may typically see under examination conditions. Okay let us now look at a problem that you'd more typically see on an exam. For example, here we have an example where we have a boat leaving port A, traveling to port B and then on to port C. The bearing of B from A is given as 115 degrees, C from B is 35 degrees and of course its distances AC and AB are given. In the first instance you're asked to draw and label the diagram showing that movement from A to B and then on to C. So the first thing we do is we identify where we are which is point A and we superimpose on that a bearing locator so we could identify the bearing from A to B as 115 degrees as shown. Notice we can always imagine that 115 degrees is made up of two angles and 90 degrees between north and east and 25 degrees between east and the bearing from A to B. Here we are now at B and we have again superimposed a bearing locator around the point B so we can identify 35 degrees measured from north and that will give us our point C. We can complete that triangle 
and add the other two piece of information given which is 95 kilometers from C to A and 65 kilometers from A to B and that completes our first task which is to draw and label the diagram. Our second task is to calculate the angle ABC so let us first identify what that is and as we can see here angle ABC is the angle shown here at B. We should also recognize that angle B is made up of two separate parts 35 degrees which has already been given and a new angle which we will call X. In order to determine what X is let us recognize also that a Z angle exists between the south at point A and the north at point B. So from our theory of alternate angles the other angle X is identified at A as shown. Now you can also clearly see that at A between the north and south is 180 degrees therefore we can calculate X quite easily by recognizing that 150 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees therefore X is equal to 65 degrees and we have effectively determined what the total angle is so we can go ahead and form our equation where the angle ABC is now 65 plus 35 or 100 degrees. Task number three is asking us to calculate angle ACB so let us again recognize what ACB is and it is this angle here as shown and in order to find angle ACB what we need to note is that we have a single non right angle triangle so in order to find a side or an angle we need to recognize what we have and apply either the sine or the cosine rule now we'll apply the sine rule in this case because if you notice what we have are two sides and a non included angle so that suggests that we should apply the sine rule and if we identify the unknown angle here as K then our sine rule simply predicts that 65 over sine K that is 65 over the sine of K that's the, the angle opposite the side is equal to 95 over the angle opposite that side which is 100 degrees and by way of simple algebraic manipulation we determine that K is equal to 42.4 degrees. Our next task is now to determine the bearing A from C. This should cause no confusion because you merely need to identify where you are and then you identify where you're going and that will uh, determine exactly what your bearing is. So if you are calculating a bearing A from C it means that you are at C and you're going towards A. So let us superimpose at C a bearing locator and identify what the bearing from A from C is and here it is identified in green so uh, very simply you can recognize that this bearing is actually made up of three angles 100 degrees 180 degrees between north and south we have an additional uh, angle here which we call Y and of course we calculated earlier 42.4 degrees as the other part of that angle so the bearing is actually made up of three separate angles that we are going to sum together so let us now go ahead and calculate the angle Y we do this by identifying the Z angle that exists between the north at B and the south at point C so we can easily see that Y based on alternate angles will be equal to 35 degrees so we can simply go ahead and add all three angles as 180 degrees plus 35 degrees plus 42.4 giving a total of 257.4 degrees and that is our bearing from A to C and finally we're giving some additional information and it is that the ship leaves port C and travels to a new port D Port D is located west of Port C and north of Point A. So you'll need to imagine what that looks like.
because we are asked afterwards to show port D on our diagram and then calculate the distance CD. So let's go ahead and superimpose a bearing locator at point C because that's our starting point. We then recognize that port D is west of port C and it is north of port A. So we can identify D as the intersection of those two points. We can then go ahead to draw CD which is a journey from C to D and our, our task is to calculate that distance CD. Let us recognize quickly that CDA, the triangle, is a right angled triangle. Therefore, we can apply our sine ratios from Pythagoras quite easily to calculate angles in a right angled triangle. And here it is that we have already calculated the bearing A from C as 257.4 degrees and that is this bearing all the way from A from C so in order to calculate this angle which we will call J we merely need to recognize that the total angle between the north and west is 270 degrees so we already know a portion of that angle so we can simply write an equation um, suggesting that 257.4 plus J is equal to 270 degrees so J is equal to 12.6 degrees we simply use Pythagoras and apply our cosine ratio which is indicating that the cosine of 12.6 degrees is equal to the adjacent side which is what we're asked to find CD over the hypotenuse which is 95 kilometers and we manipulate algebraically to determine CD to be equal to 92.7 kilometers. Um, that is simply how this is done. Fairly straightforward problem applying a few basic geometric principles. Um, you, can you can always go to our website at cxcdirect.org to get more help videos. See you next time.